Perhaps the most important part of any project is the ability to install your material in the space that is designated after the coordination has been completed in the design. If the project is not coordinated prior to manufacturing of components, the result is rework of the improperly located materials. Remember, we only get paid once to install it. We begin by turning the fire sprinkler layers on. We will switch our drawing to a single screen format. In the CATS Commander, under Ventilation, we will find under Tools, Crash Detection. The Crash Detection window appears. Select Check. We will select the entire drawing to perform our collision check. The Crash Detection is processing each coordination point for each collision. The colliding coordinates are listed in the CATS collision detection window. By double-clicking on the collision point, you will be directed to that point on the drawing. It will zoom you to the point automatically. Here you can see that the fire sprinkler branch line and the supply duct are in conflict. We will delete one duct section. The correction will be made by moving the supply duct forward 12 inches and down 4 inches. Changes to the initial design and placement of your devices can be changed easily within the CAT software. The designer will discover a system of tools to facilitate, redesign, or relocation of components and can complete the task easily. We change our view to a top view. We are now rechecking the CATS clash detection for any missed items. The same procedure will be followed. Within the CATS software products, the user is capable of making pressure drop calculation within the framework of his project drawing without using a third-party software calculation program. The true layout of the systems, ductwork, piping, etc. is in front of you, so what better place to make your pressure loss calculations? In this demonstration, we will present to you the CATS Intelligent Software Solution. We will turn off the sprinkler layer for our calculation. We will also turn off the air handling unit layer as it does not affect this calculation. In the CATS Commander, under Calculations and Lists, we will find Create 3D Components. This step is necessary after altering the design after the changes you have made prior to performing the calculation. Highlight the entire drawing. Select Enter. Under the CATS Commander, under Calculation and List, you will select Perform Pressure Loss Calculation. A window appears, Pressure Loss Calculation. Choose Exhaust Air, Select the temperature to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and the drop down menu. Select sheet metal 4 foot joints. Select OK. We now select the starting point of the return duct. The pressure loss calculation window appears. The total CFM and pressure drop is indicated for the return system. All components are listed with their respective pressure drop by fitting. Select the report tab. In the report, you can select parameters of your report. The pressure drop of the return duct system is 83 pascal, or 0.33 inches static pressure. The same procedure will apply to the supply duct. The pressure loss calculation window appears. We select supply air. We will set the temperature at 74 degrees. The calculation takes into account the viscosity, pressure on the building, and density of the air. Here again we have our total CFM and pressure drop of the entire supply duct system. All information can now be transferred to an Excel report. 
Each fitting in the supply duct system is listed with its associated pressure drop. Each diffuser is listed with respective pressure drop. The required damper position for the branch line feeding the diffuser or position of the damper located on the diffuser has also been calculated. This is a unique function of CAT software and of tremendous value prior to system test and balancing.